Oh yeah. We are back. This one, self-destruct from Anchorage Brewing Company. Look at this fucking label. I love Anchorage's labels. What in God's name? What in <laughs> the fuck is going on here? All hell's breaking loose on this can. Absolutely love like the alarm red label. This is a double IPA, dry hopped four times, 8% alcohol. 8.4 yeah they just went fucking berserk with this one <clears throat> let's see if they have any info I don't think they do it's all good though I'll tell you what this thing is just a hop bomb but it's a it's a hazy so it's like it still has like a somewhat soft mouth feel but it's just like fucking flavor dude <laughs> massive citrus and like fruits That's some good shit right there. Anchorage rarely disappoints. So, we are continuing Shave Like a Pirate Week. Started by Lather Me Whiskers, the captain. I'm going to be using some Calico Jacks. And this is the original Bay Rum. And this one is from Cherry City Shaving Products. I had to slow down because I usually fuck that up. Cherry City Shaving Products. So, they're out of uh, Oregon. And they're one of uh, the guys that uh, I saw a lot when I first started shaving. Not because, like, of crazy popularity, but because I joined a Facebook group called the um, Pacific Northwest Wet Shavers pretty early on. Got plenty of generosity out of that group really early on. Really, um, really kept me hanging around. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't, I didn't dive deep immediately. But, um... So that's what we're using today, and I, I have used it before. I got two full-size tubs and then like three samples. So I got a good, you know, feel for their products. I like Cherry Shady, Cher there it goes, there it goes. Cherry City Shave Products. Cherry Shady Shave Products. <laughs> so it's kind of like through the fire fine crap. But I got it loaded up into the Captain's Choice Bowl today. That's what we're going to be using. And we're going to be using the That Darn Rob brush that was given to me by um, J.R. Reyes of Reyes Restores. And I wish the camera would just focus on the brush, the beauty. It's got like a translucent red on the bottom. And then the topper just has this excellent pour of like a metallic black red and like pearl white. Very nice. And then just like a simple bulb tuxedo knot on top and um, I'm not sure if Reyes you know if he set this himself or if Rob said it I'm unaware of the situation but um, it feels like it, it's not floppy so that's good so this one here is kind of like a spicy bay rum I think they were trying to convey like spiced rum rather than kind of like I guess all rum is a little bit spicy, but I think they were trying to convey spiced rum because it has like all spice in the um, in the breakdown. It's like all spice and bay and black pepper and vanilla. It, it's a good smelling scent, but it's it's like you gotta imagine spiced rum rather than like like a normal um, <clears throat> like sweet bay or something. Yeah, but it does smell good to me. I don't mind it whatsoever. So I'm going to hit it with the uh, the Ice Saber. I'm going to fucking, you know, beg the menth dealer to give me some chill. Give me some crystal. I'm not going to go overboard. I'm just going to put a little bit. <clears throat> it's been cooling down, which I do really, really appreciate. Because I fucking hate the summer. <laughs> I really don't need the sun whatsoever. <laughs> I'm completely fine with just skipping the summer. Like going spring, fall, winter, spring, fall, winter. I'm fine with the winter. I could always layer up if it's cold. When it's hot, I mean, I'm not going to strip down. And in some places, you probably shouldn't strip down. <laughs> 
so this one, this, uh, this bulb tuxedo knot, which is what I'm assuming it is, at least it looks like, it definitely has some backbone. It's not floppy. Like, I'm imposing my will on this lather down here, which I kind of like. The only, the only thing that I'm kind of worried about is like, is it going to splay, you know, easy enough on the face that it's not a nuisance. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But as far as, you know, like imposing your dominance on your lather, <laughs> um, no problems there. I mean, I'm fucking whipping it. Whipping, whipping, whipping. Got the flick of the wrist. Got the lather with the flick of the wrist. <clears throat> Very nice. Let's get some water on the face. Get the, the lather to the skin. It puts the lather on the skin. So this is actually going to be a uh, feel the burn challenge, which basically comes in the post shave of the uh, video. But this was started by CDB, and he basically, the whole gist of it was to use Captain's Choice Cat of Nine Tails aftershave with no other post products, um, i.e. like putting Witch Hazel before your aftershave, or putting, um, you know, like, some, like, you know how I put, like, good oleo or something when I have an alcohol splash, um, occasionally? He basically said just put cat of nine tails on the freshly shaven skin and feel the burn. <clears throat> and I don't know if this was just to poke fun at the, uh, I don't know if it was originally intended to poke fun at the, you know, skin food lovers, or the, I should say, the alcohol splash haters, <laughs> but, um, I don't know why he started it, but I know we're having some fun now, because the alcohol splash haters <laughs> definitely had a little rebuttal, I think the messenger was Ken, <laughs> shave 326, he told... CDB that, um, you know, his comments or whatever about, about, um, guys wincing when they put on an alcohol, an alcohol splash, that, uh, they were like toxic masculinity, and he even, uh, asked his viewers if, uh, if, um, guys who make fun of the people who wince when putting on an alcohol splash, um, is that displaying toxic masculinity or, you know, is it just having good fun? And, or are the people who wince, you know, are they wimps or are they, um, you know, perfectly, you know, manly, regardless if they wince or not? And my answer to him was, yes, they are a bunch of pusses for wincing. And yes, that is toxic masculinity. And why? Does one group care what the other group thinks about any of it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> oh, I guess I should show you. The Wacker Chevalier. Those awesome horn scales. That beautiful uh, French point up there. But yeah, who gives a fuck? If I call you a puss... What do you give a fuck what I think? And if you wince <laughs> when you apply an alcohol aftershave and you decide you don't like alcohol aftershaves or you think I'm displaying toxic masculinity do you really expect me to give a fuck? No. At least I hope you don't. So, basically, don't 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 worry about what other people think of you.
You do shit the way that you want to do it, and I'll do it the way that I want to do it. And we can talk shit about each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? Doesn't matter. <clears throat> very nice. Very nice. We are definitely cutting. This Chevalier, I am like in absolute love with this Wacker Chevalier. The look on it. just thoroughly appeals to me. Uh, the French point is something that I've always wanted. And the, the scales are very nice. I like how they transition from kind of like a black horn to a blonde horn. And um, I like the the kind of lines on this bad boy. I like how um, right around this area and this area, I like the lines on it. Just kind of how the shape flows. It's a fucking stunning brush, dude. <clears throat> so that was a very smooth first pass. I got a low level of chill going on. And the uh, Calico Jacks Bay Rum is kicking. I think because of the uh, allspice, that prominent kind of spicy top note. Because of that, I really, um, I think it, I'm perceiving it to be stronger than it might actually be. Because the allspice is so easily detectable. <clears throat> but really... I'm enjoying this uh, scent. It's nice, you know what I mean? It's nothing complex, but it's like that sweet spiced rum is, is nice. And the Captain's Choice, even though it's been shelved, or kind of, it, it's became my travel bowl, it still gets the job done well. I mean, it... it Got the job done well back then, and it still gets the job done well now. It has nice, kind of beveled ridges that help whip up a lather. One thing that I feel like is an improvement from my Lancaster Bowl to my Captain's Choice Bowl is it, it has, like, higher ridges on it, so my lather doesn't, like, spill over the edges. But in the same token, it's not hard to get in there because it's it's beveled kind of outward rather than like straight up. It's beveled outward so that you can, you know, you're not, there's no obstruction when you're creating your lather. So I do like that more. Neither one of them have a solid place to grip. Like, I know the Lancaster puts that, like, rubber band on the base, so you have, you know, um, more control, which, you know, doesn't go unnoticed. I do appreciate that. But I've seen bowls that kind of on the bottom, they'll have, like, like a bulge on the bottom, you know what I mean? And you can really get around it like that. And so I appreciate that, you know what I mean? Like, I think I would like that if the Lancaster Bowl featured that. But other than that, I'm like, I'm super happy with my Lancaster Bowl and my Captain's Choice Bowl. I'm missing some BBS Live for this. But my... My boy Marion the Barbarian tagged me. Uh, I had just gotten off work. And Marion sends me a voice message. 
He said, hey man, I tagged you in the Feel the Burn Challenge. And I immediately, you know, voice messaged him back and I was like, dude, <laughs> you fucking, uh, <laughs> you killed the point that I was trying to drive home on my mail call video. Because I was trying to do the Feel the Burn Challenge without being tagged. Because there's motherfuckers out here that... When a hot tag is going around, and they want, you know, they're chomping at the bit to be tagged. But for whatever reason, they're being you know, picked over or forgot about. And they just can't fucking wait. Like, they have their shave of the day planned out. and <laughs> They can't wait to do this tag. But they're not getting tagged. And so it's just like this huge bummer for them. And ultimately, they just don't do it because they never got tagged. And and for me, it's like, bro, if you want to fucking, if you see a tag that looks fun and you want to do it, just fucking do it. And that's why I bought, I didn't own Cat of Nine Tails. As soon as I saw CDB do his thing, I didn't get tagged. And I went to the uh, Razor Company and bought some Cat of Nine Tails. Because I was like, I'm doing this whether I'm getting tagged or not. Now, round two came around, my mail call hadn't came in yet, and I still didn't get tagged. And I had full intentions of doing this tag challenge without getting tagged to drive home the point, basically, that if you want to do this, jump in. You know, nobody's going to look at you strange. Nobody's going to think you're a fucking loser or anything derogatory whatsoever. If you want to do a tag, do a tag. Most of the time, people who get tagged bear the burden of tagging other people. And let me tell you, sometimes people don't want to be tagged. And, you know, if you're that guy that has to keep the tag going... It kind of, it kind of, you know, puts that weight on your shoulders to keep it going, you know, because you want to, you want to support the guy that started it, and you want to support the guy that tagged you, and so on and so forth, and you don't want to be the guy that kind of lets it die, but if you just jump in because you're interested in it, then you don't have any obligation to keep it going, <laughs> you don't have any obligation to tag anyone else, you just did it because you thought it was fun. You joined in on the fun, and now you're able to gracefully exit, <laughs> you know what I mean, without that burden whatsoever. So, really, there's no negatives whatsoever to jumping in on a tag challenge if you haven't been tagged. Nobody's going to look at you derogatory whatsoever. Just have fun with it. That's all these tags are, you know what I mean? And on the flip side of the coin, if you get tagged and you're not interested, don't do it. You know what I mean? No reason to do, you know, something that you don't want to do or have an unenjoyable shave. You know what I mean? Just respectfully decline. And then that's that. You know what I mean? These shaves are supposed to be enjoyable, fellas. Come on. All right, the Lancaster towel. The pinnacle of enjoyment right here. Just fucking patting your face down with this Lancaster towel. It's pure luxury every time. Hell yeah. And that Whacker Man gave me one hell of a good shave. I'm going to have some, probably some beers, some bourbons, and some cigars. After this, I'm going to have my 
buddy come over and we're gonna fucking have a few drinks and a few cigars and then I believe I'm gonna get minimal sleep and then wake up and go salmon fishing so whew, it's been a long fucking week a hard work week I worked overtime every single day this week but uh, I'm gonna still make the most out of my weekend have a little bit of fun so that was a damn fine shave we're just gonna throw a little bit of no I'm just fucking with you <laughs> we're gonna go captain's choice cat of nine tails and guys <laughs> I think this is not going to burn because from the Captain's Choice, from the Feel the Burn Challenge videos I've seen, nobody's really felt the burn. So I got it right here on my hand. I guess I kind of, I guess I kind of let it out because I was trying to let you see, but put a little bit more. So I'm still not a fan of the scent of this. I got to be honest. So I think they said it builds, because initially, initially I don't feel anything. So let's, okay, it does build, it's creeping. I'm feeling the burn. It's more like a sizzle. The burner has been turned on to low. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah, so I was telling Marion because he was like, he was like, sorry that you got tagged in um in this challenge because he's like, it doesn't really burn. <laughs> and I told him, I was like, well, fuck. I was like, I think that's kind of sucks because this is going to be pretty detrimental to Captain's Choice if like viewer after viewer sees YouTuber after YouTuber say that this shit doesn't burn. <laughs> That's going to be detrimental and pff, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I did feel it build, but I mean, it fizzled out at a low, low burn. I mean, it just felt kind of like a normal. The only thing unique about it was that it built up from nothing instead of just immediately burning like a normal alcohol aftershave. So, sorry and shit. <laughs> all right recap calico jacks from sherry shitty shave products <laughs> cherry city shave products and that performed very well even with the whacker even during the straight razor shave performed very well the That Darn Rob that was very generously given to me through way of a drive-by generosity, drive-by kindness shooting from J.R. Reyes from Reyes Restores. I'll say it again. If you haven't checked out Reyes, <laughs> if you need any, like, nodding services, any restoration services, check him out, man. The guy's a fucking boss. And if you just need, like, tips and you want to be, like, a DIY do-it-yourselfer, Hit up J.R. Reyes, because he'll still give you tips, you know what I mean? He's not going to bogart his knowledge. He gives it out freely. He's a fucking awesome guy, man. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Captain's Choice Bowl, right there. Still fucking performing like a champ. My master class, right there. Right there. My fucking camera is a master class. But master class razors the whacker fucking love this thing i think this is my favorite straight razor to be honest i fucking love that thing all right and then the L laster lux aftershave captain's choice cat of nine tails feel the sizzle and yes i said laster lux that's how my <laughs> that's how my wife fucking dyslexically says laster wait luck laster <laughs> that's how she says luck laster she says laster lux 
and she has like a million other of those mispronounced sayings. So, anyhow, and we can't forget the face froster, the motherfucking cryo capsule. Can't forget this thing, the menth dealer. <clears throat> All right, I'm out of here, guys. That was a hell of a shave. Cheers. Have a good weekend, and I uh, will catch you on the next Shave Like a Pirate shave. <laughs>